Malachim Bet, Chapter 15. It was in the twenty-seventh year of Yeroboam, king of Israel, that Azariah, the son of Amatziah, king of Yehudah, began his reign. He was sixteen years old when he began to rule, and he ruled for fifty-two years in Yerushalayim. His mother's name was Yekoliahu from Yerushalayim. He did what was right from Adonai's perspective, following the example of everything his father Amatziah had done. However, the high places were not taken away. The people still sacrificed and offered on the high places. Adonai struck the king so that he had Tzara'at until his dying day, so that he lived in a separate house while Yotam, the king's son, ran the king's household and was regent over the people of the land. Other activities of Azariah and all his accomplishments are recorded in the annals of the kings of Yehuda. So Azariah slept with his ancestors, the kings of Israel, and they buried him with his ancestors in the city of David. Then Yotam, his son, took his place as king. It was in the 38th year of Azariah, king of Yehuda, that Zechariah, the son of Yerovam, began his reign over Israel and Shamran. He ruled for six months. He did what was evil from Adonai's perspective, just as his ancestors had done. He did not turn from all the sins of Yerovam, the son of Navat, who made Israel sin. Shalom, the son of Yavesh, formed a conspiracy against him. He struck him in the presence of the people and killed him. Then he took his place as king. Other activities of Zechariah are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. The word of Adonai which he had spoken to Yehu was, Your descendants down to the fourth generation will sit on the throne of Israel. And that is exactly what happened. Shalom, the son of Yavesh, began his reign in the 39th year of Uziah, king of Yehuda. He ruled in Shamran for only a month. Menachem, the son of Gadi, went up from Tirza, came to Shamran, struck Shalom, the son of Yavesh, in Shamran, and killed him. Then he took his place as king. Other activities of Shalom and the conspiracy he formed are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. From Tirza, Menachem attacked Tifsach, all the people in it and its territory, because they had not opened their gates to him. So he sacked the city and ripped apart all its pregnant women. It was in the 39th year of Azariah, king of Yehuda, that Menachem, the son of Gadi, began his reign over Israel. He ruled ten years in Shamran. He did what was evil from Adonai's perspective. Throughout his life, he did not turn from the sins of Yarovam, the son of Nevat, who made Israel sin. Pul, the king of Ashur, invaded the land. Menachem gave Pul 33 tons of silver, so that he would confirm Menachem's hold on the kingdom. He did this by taxing the wealthy men in Israel. From each he required one and a quarter pounds of silver to give to the king of Ashur. Then the king of Ashur turned around and left the land. Other activities of Menachem and his, all his accomplishments are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. Menachem slept with his ancestors, and Pechahiah, his son, took his place as king. It was in the fiftieth year of Azariah, king of Yehuda, that Pekakiah, the son of Menachem, began his reign over Israel in Shamran. He ruled for two years. He did what was evil from Adonai's perspective and did not turn from the sins of Yarovam, the son of Nevat, who made Israel sin. Pekak, the son of Remel Yahu, one of his commanders conspired against him. With Argav, Arya, and fifty men from Gilad, he assassinated him in the palace stronghold in Shamran. After killing him, he took his place as king. Other activities of Pekachia and all his accomplishments are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. It was in the fifty-second year of Azariah, king of Yehuda, that Pekach, the son of Remaliah, began to reign over Israel in Shamran. His reign lasted twenty years. He did what was evil from Adonai's perspective. He did not turn from the sins of Yarovam, the son of Nevat, who made Israel sin. During the time of Pekach, king of Israel, Tiglat, Pileser, king of Ashur, came and conquered Tion, Ion, Avel, Beit, Ma'aka, Yanoak, Kadesh, Hatzor, Gilad, and the Galil, all the land of Naphtali, and took them captive to Ashur. Hoshea, the son of Elah, conspired against Pekach, the son of Remaliah, 
struck him, killed him, and took his place as king in the twentieth year of Yotam, the son of Uziah. Other activities of Pekach and all his accomplishments are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. It was in the second year of Pekach, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, that Yotam, the son of Uziah, king of Yehudah, began his reign. He was twenty-five years old when he began his reign, and he ruled for sixteen years in Yerushalayim. His mother's name was Yerusha, the daughter of Tzadak. He did what was right from Adonai's perspective, following the example of everything his father Uziah had done. However, the high places were not taken away, and the people still sacrificed and offered on the high places. He built the upper gate of the house of Adonai. Other activities of Yotam and all his accomplishments are recorded in the annals of the kings of Yehudah. It was during this period that Adonai began sending against Yehudah Retzen, the king of Arab, and Pekach, the son of Remaliah. Yotam slept with his ancestors and was buried with his ancestors in the city of David, his ancestor. Then Ahaz, his son, took his place as king. End of 2 Kings, chapter 15.